everybody today we're gonna work on this 2002 Toyota 4Runner um, what I am going to do to this is I'm going to paint everything here that's silver a semi gloss black and along with these here I'm either gonna end up painting these or just removing them and ordering some that are in black so uh, we can get rid of this chrome. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and do these black. If I have enough paint left over, I'll more than likely paint the rims black as well. But with this trim here, I am going to also paint the trim that's chrome black as well um, obviously the gray that's here as well as the front bumper and the grill For clear coat and I'll be using this one for the paint so right now we're gonna do the paint which takes this cup and this gun right here so I have to add the uh, the piece here to connect it to my air holes I have a small air compressor so the second I start painting the the compressor is gonna kick on so I'm gonna, gonna mix the paint right now so before I take this out I'm gonna go ahead and mix the paint strainers before before you put paint into the paint gun you need to put this inside of the uh, inside of the um, the bottle so that it strains any little any clumps or debris that's in there and it prevents it from getting into your air gun I'll put, I'll put that aside this Here, I'm gonna try the Rostolium paint. It's a black semi gloss. And then I'm gonna use the Duplicolor specialty reducer. these clean too because this is the first time I opened this up and there was still stuff inside of here. Alright, this is ready to go. So I need to crack this open with something. Uh, flathead screwdriver. Let me see, I'll just use this. Thank 
Before I completely open this, let me mix it. Like those mixing can things. <laughs> Exactly like the Mason can. <laughs> Alright, I think that should be good. Mm. It almost looks blue. It looks like midnight blue. Alright, so for here, on the cup. It says black. It better be black. I'm gonna be mad. It almost looks like this color right mm -hmm. here. I swear to God. <laughs> it looks blue. It says semi gloss black. Maybe that's just the way it looks. I swear to God, if it comes out <laughs> blue. So, you got these measurements here. I'm gonna do the four to one. So it's gonna be four parts paint, one part reducer. So this isn't a big little jug. It has, how many, what was that, 500? It just says 500. So I'll probably fill it up to maybe the three. And then, see how there's a three over here? You fill the cup up until it reaches this line with paint and then you fill it with reducer until it reaches this line here and then you mix it up and put it into your paint gun so that's what i'm gonna start because i don't want to do more than that because obviously you can see it doesn't go past the thing so um i'm gonna go to the three on this it legit looks blue oh now it looks black Okay, so maybe I'll just do two. Hmm. Nope, too late, I passed it. So three, three paint. It legit looks blue. You might have to, if it's blue, babe, you might have to, uh, <laughs> black and blue on your truck. Or just redo it. Okay. And now for the reducer. What's that for? It thins out the paint. So it's not the paint's not so thick and it can go through the paint gun. reduces the thickness of the paint. Mm -hmm. All right. So we do this until it reaches the three. Right there. It's leaning. Yeah, I know it's leaning, but it's still gonna be even because it's lean. Okay. So, take our little stick and mix it. Be 
Maybe because it's just uh, semi gloss that it kind of looks blue in mm -hmm. the light. From in here in the bucket, it looks black. When you look at the side of the bucket, you can see it looks black, but when you look directly at it, mm -hmm. it has that midnight blue look. Maybe it'll be both. Well, if this comes out blue, it's definitely gonna be both. <laughs> and I have the black truck and the blue, blue trim. Ooh. It's still gonna be matte though. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep mixing this and then I'll get back to when I'm ready to pour it because it's gonna be a little while. I don't know why I did that. and look how full it is. Alright, let's see what the fuck is going on. Okay, it's too cold? Do you have spray paint? Yeah. Maybe it's just too cold. Alright, we'll start recording when I finally get enough to freaking paint this damn thing. Well, so I got about close to 400, what is this, milliliters? Sprayed. I haven't sprayed in 10 years. No, 20 years. Oh my god. More than 20 years. Oh my god. It's been over 20 years because of 21, 22, and 23 years ago is when I was painting. Thank you. 
Forever is the strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. what the issue was before why it was clumping up so i'm just gonna straight throw this into the gun without any uh, without thinning it out and see how that turns out it should turn out better um because the primer the primer didn't need to get thinned either but as you can see this is actual vehicle primer and it says it's ready to spray this wasn't made it wasn't made for the guns so i guess i'll try it out anyways hopefully it's not too thick to spray because if it is too thick then i'm gonna have to try to put a little bit of thinner in it and hopefully it doesn't clump up but again i'm gonna try to do it with just this first so what I'll do is for this one for that one it says to use the strainer which I didn't and it worked out fine but for this one I'm just gonna use the strainer just in case so hopefully it does something but well, that's what I'm gonna do right now <laughs> Nope. Fix the car? 